If you're old enough to remember 9-11, you know exactly what you were doing that day. The video is painful for many to think about and may be hard to watch in this story. 20 years ago, News 10 spoke with a paramedic in New York City who has family living in Terre Haute. He was working in the area when the attack happened. We wanted to connect with him once again. In part one of this special report, he walks us through what he experienced. And again, you may find this story emotional. 20 years ago. Hearing the siren and that thunder, um, I just can't get out of my head. Moments that played across televisions, but some saw with their very own eyes from ground zero. I, you know, I'm I used to dealing with, with injured people. That never bothered me, but coming close to losing your life is, uh, is pretty much will stick with you. 8.46 in the morning. There was a call came in for a plane into a building um, and we volunteered to go. Danny Frazier and his work partner were staging at a street corner in Staten Island. Crossing the Verrazano Bridge, when we saw the plume of the first plume of smoke coming up out of the towers, we're thinking, okay, some plane just ran into the building. It's no big deal. Not, we'll go in there, take care of a few patients, and go home. But at 9.03, it was becoming clear that a different path was playing out for the day. And we were pretty much right under the second plane when it hit. We had something fall and hit uh, the top of our ambulance at that time. Uh, at that point, everybody started over the radio saying it was a terrorist attack, it's a terrorist attack. They parked and waited. We were watching the people jump out of the buildings. The supervisor there that was directing everybody actually said, okay, let's get the stretchers. Um, that's probably what saved my life because I turned around, took two steps, and the first building fell. 9.59 in the morning, Frazier and his partner had taken cover in a nearby store. The ambulances were outside the door and you couldn't see the lights from the dust. A woman told them her daughter was outside. They split up to try to find her. The second building started to come down. So I pretty much ducked behind the second building, kind of sat there. It was 1028. I thought that was it. I couldn't. That I thought I was gone at that point. I honestly, at that whole time, sat there and said, my partner's dead. Frazier says those experiences continue to impact his life today. Coming up at 6, you'll hear how 9-11 changed his life.